So the Ice Queen is not a person or a type of person, it is a feeling, it is a way of relating to style. When you're stuck in the Ice Queen, you're not happy with your style, but you don't know how to fix it. You feel like your clothes are holding you back as a person and you don't know how to get out of it. Being in the Ice Queen is really dreary, it's very suffocating, and the good news is that there is a way out of the shadow state, and that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Hi, I'm Rita. I am the creator of the Style Key System, and I've helped hundreds of women develop a style expression that works for their individual self, and I wanna help you too. So to fix any problem, we first need to know what the solution looks like. What direction do you need to move into? So how do you know when you've actually made progress? To escape the ice queen struggle, we have to think about where are we going? What is the overall goal and desire when it comes to style? All of this shopping and trying and effort, why is it worth it? Your immediate answer might be like, well, I need to look good. But I feel like that's not enough. For me, looking good is important. But the reason I'm so obsessed with style and helping people with style is because style is more than that. It is a tool for our personal growth, our thriving. It brings joy to our life. It can help you connect with other people to get ahead in your career, to be recognized for who you are, can help you love yourself, to feel comfortable in your skin, and it just brings beauty, creativity, play, pleasure, all of the good things in life, and all of this can be yours when style is aligned with who you are, right? So once your style makes sense, for you as a person and it feels like you, you can get all these benefits. Your style doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be you. And that's the idea behind my system, the style key, and that's what we're doing on this channel. Trying to align who you are with your style. So the shadow, the ice queen, what we're talking about in this video, this is a mode of being which pulls us away from style that's in harmony for ourselves. When we're in the ice queen, we're not able to get that style that makes sense for who we are, so we can't access all of those great benefits. And to understand the ice queen, we need to understand her joyful counterpart, the sun, right? The thing we do want. You may be familiar with the sun as a general symbol, but let's unpack what it stands for. When you think about the sun, what is it that comes to mind for you. My immediate association is with warmth. We need the light of the sun to sustain our life and when the sun comes out after a period of darkness and cold, we celebrate it, we bathe ourselves in the glow and the light. It is confident, it is fiery, it's strong, and it has an incredibly giving energy, right? Because it is making so many things possible. I also associate the sun with inspiration and growth, right? It motivates people gives them energy to move in the direction they desire, makes everything feel and look better. Think about plants that kind of grow towards the sun or the way people just like are activated by its presence. Not only is the sun associated with warmth, but it's also associated with clarity. If you think about how we use light bulbs, right, as a symbol for ideas, that's what the sun represents. That your style makes sense that it's organized, it follows principles of visual harmony and storytelling, it has that clarity, insight, energy of the sun. And you might feel like, yes, I'm the sun, I'm like the sun at high noon, I'm so harsh, I'm so powerful, I'm awe-inspiring, I'm just, you know, infinite in my power. But you could also be the sun as a gentle summer dawn, right? Rising up, promising a beautiful day. And you could be all of these things and you could be even more versions of the sun. The important thing for me is that the sun is a very giving energy and that's why it's so important to think style-wise about where you are, who you're connecting with, what you would like to share with them so that you can use your powerful light to be this positive force in the world. It's so beautiful to think of the sun in this way and this is a way of being that's available to you through style. And just to emphasize this point that there is not one way to be the sun, I want to show you some popular characters who embody the sun to me. So first we have Elle Woods from Legally Blonde, played by Reese Witherspoon. Elle uses style as a way to celebrate her beauty, which has a very glamorous and very feminine energy. But she also uses style as a way to connect with people around her. Whether she is the president of her sorority or struggling to make friends as a law student or representing a client in court or making a new friend, Elle makes adjustments to her style so she is able to connect with people around her and find her place in the world. Her style helps her live her best life and that's why she embodies the sun. Next, I wanna talk about characters uh, Charlotte York and Seema Patel from Just Like That. Charlotte, she's a very sweet person who enjoys her 
family life, she enjoys surrounding herself with beauty, and her style is soft, it's feminine, it's elegant, it's high maintenance, but gentle. Seema is this powerful New York real estate mogul, and her style is professional, confident, ambitious, sexy. So they have these very different aesthetics, and yet both of them have a look that really helps them find their way in the world, and thus they represent the sun. Enid from the show Wednesday is another great representation of the sun. She's this angsty teen, she's kind of failed-ish werewolf, and her style is really whimsical, it's colorful, and it's really joyful and expressive. Her self-expression is very confident and very authentic, very charming. Even though her life isn't like all sorted out, she is using style as an effective helper on the way to bring more joy and confidence to her life, thus representing the sun. We could go on and on with celebrities as well, whether it's Taylor Swift with her ever-changing eras or Kate Middleton with her iconic royal style. It's all about using style to share your light with the world to embody the sun. The sun is not something that you need to deserve or live up to. Nobody needs to give you permission to be the sun. It's just a way of approaching style that's something for you to choose and for you to cultivate and build for yourself. Now that we've talked about the powerful, joyful sun, what is the ice queen? She is the opposite of all of those beautiful, brilliant light things I talked about. The ice queen does not feel capable of sharing her light into the world. She has no of that sun's clarity. She is frozen in place. She doesn't know what she wants to look like. The ice queen is often lost in harsh criticism. She's nitpicking her body. She's nitpicking her aesthetic, nitpicking the way she puts things together. She's stuck in comparison with others, and she's missing this vitality, this play, and this confidence. Because the Ice Queen lacks the warmth, the play, and the confidence, she's in this ice palace and she's unable to feel in harmony with the world around her. So let's talk about two different flavors of the Ice Queen and I'll give you a pop culture example for each one. So first, the Heartful Minimalism Ice Queen. Her style is just so restrictive. She doesn't let herself play. She doesn't let herself experiment. She's really afraid of shining her light. She's afraid of drawing attention to herself. The Minimalist Ice Queen really denies herself the right to be the sun. So she keeps everything very quiet, constrained, and minimal at all times. And she might actually like the minimal style, maybe she doesn't. The problem isn't what she's wearing, but it's that she's not allowing herself to wear some other stuff she wants. So a good example of this is Monica from Friends, played by Courtney Cox. We are told that Monica was very overweight in her youth, and then even though she lo loses the weight, she still really lacks confidence in herself. That's her main character arc. Her outfits are actually really nice, but they're very minimal, they're formulaic, and she never lets herself feel like the center of attention, or to take visual risks, or to really have fun with her style. And the point is not that her looks are bad. The point is she doesn't feel comfortable taking space, sharing herself with the world, and her style does not help her grow in this direction. And that's why she embodies the ice cream. Next, let's talk about the harmful conformist ice queen. Her style is focused on getting it exactly correct. She reads the room, she compares herself to others, she knows what's expected, she knows what people are going to respond to, and in her mind, style becomes a type of competition that she needs to win or at least like not lose. Her style is often a success because it impresses other people, it gives her attention, power, and approval, but it's not a success in another very real way because it's hollow. So she's taking space, she's shining, but there is no warmth, there's no joy, there's no authenticity in that feeling. You know, she probably looks great in her outfits, but the point is her style does not facilitate her growth, it doesn't inspire her, and it doesn't really help her find her place. A good example of this archetype is Blake Waldorf from Gossip Girl, played by Leighton Meester. Blair's fashion sense is absolutely iconic, right, and she dedicates an incredible amount of resources to her style. She uses style as a way to position herself at the top of her high school's social hierarchy, and yet, as the show runs on and on, where does Blair get? She doesn't get into her dream school, she struggles to form meaningful and functional friendships. She has this super toxic love life. She marries that um, hotel sales guy. The point is Blair looks amazing and yet style for her is not a positive force in her life. Her desire to do things the best way takes her in the wrong direction. So that's why she embodies the ice queen. These are the two forms of the ice queen and you might relate to them both. And you can also be the ice queen and the sun all at once. Perhaps in your career, you're joyfully taking space, building an authentic brand, you're happy, but when it comes to friends and dating, you don't feel comfortable being yourself and you kind of hide yourself in this blandly trendy looks, right? So it's, it's not so black and white. 
how can you get out of the ice queen mode how can you thaw the ice firstly awareness you have to recognize when you're in the ice queen this is hugely important it's definitely the first step i think it's really helpful to keep track of the things you wear on a daily basis and asking yourself how do you feel do you feel like you're shining your light are you showing up with confidence and joy does your style feel right does it make sense for who you are and for what you want just easy simple questions like yes or no it's a feeling and awareness is the first step and it goes really really far secondly slowing down and softening is really really important the ice queen it's so harsh it's so demanding the perfectionism the self-criticism it's just so hard to manage so it can really stress you out how can you be kind to yourself how can you turn it around how can you release judgment and comparison and this is all emotional work but any emotional work you do here is is literally gold and i know you think you have to fix it with clothes but the emotional part is really really important and finally you have to start connecting with your sun energy what are the things that do feel radiant in what are the things that you do feel luminous in when do you feel like you're taking space joyfully celebrating yourself being present what are outfits you maybe have had in the past that have felt like exactly right for you i want you to wear these pieces more or i want you to look at these photos and just really remember how did it feel and i know it can sound so abstract but i really want you to practice feeling into the sun energy letting that be kind of the authentic guide again that's kind of simple that's letting you know am i on the right path or not my best recommendation for thawing the ice queen is to actually do the style work i want you to work with what i call style logic that's what i teach in the style key the style logic is not about how you look it's not that one perfect outfit it's about how you choose what to wear how you're making styling decisions i have a video describing the style logic concept and style logic for moonstone and sapphire quadrants and i really recommend starting there to watch these videos to understand how to start thinking about how your style helps you show up in your situations and in your world so i'm gonna link them right here you should check them out and i'll see you next time bye